Hello everyone, my name is Rodney Jefferson. My group members are Tommy Tavares, Alina Mertens, and Brett Vogel. In this video, we're going to be breaching the social norm of sitting next to a random person in a public space and seeing how they react. So the social norm of avoiding sitting at an occupied table is widely agreed upon. And today we're gonna to break that norm. So in order to break it, two of our group members are gonna sit at two random tables in the library that are occupied with people. And they're gonna sit down and we're gonna see how the people near them react to it. So for our hypothesis, we have one, if we sit at a random person's table at the library, they will move. And then two, if we sit at a random person's table at the library, they will give us a weird look or do something odd. So the results we found were very interesting. In our first run of violating the social norm, one of us went over to a table that was occupied by one student, sitting silently and doing their work. The only reaction we got was a quick glance from the student as one of us put our stuff down and began to sit. After sitting at the table for about two minutes with no further reaction and only a few weird looks, um, the student finally decided to pack their things and get up and left. Then, for our second run, two of our group members chose to sit at a table again, occupied by just one student. Once again, the only initial reaction we got from the student was a quick glance at us as we sat down before they went back to doing their own work. This time, the student greeted us with simply just saying hello smiled and then put their head down and went back to work. Um, this lasted for about five minutes and they weren't getting up or anything. So we decided to just end the experiment there. Since the entire library is full of other college students, it was not that difficult to sit with it, someone completely new. Whereas if someone older than maybe like 21 sat down, the tension between the two would be a little higher. Uh, due to the fact that they're most likely not also a college student with a common reason as to why they're in the library. We also thought that it is a lot more common for younger people to not be as confrontational as older people may be. For instance, someone older might greet you as you sit down at their table and maybe even create small talk for a short moment to break the awkwardness and the tension that has been inflicted initially. Also, each student we sat down with was preoccupied doing their own thing and their own studies, which brings us to a trend and a pattern that we noticed throughout the experiment. Whilst doing this experiment, we found that there was a common trend amongst each run we did. This pattern consisted throughout and did not change. The pattern was that each person at least acknowledged the fact that we sat down there with them and gave us at least some sort of look or maybe a small gesture. After that, they just kept doing their work and that was it. Our hypotheses were that if we sit at a random person's table at the library, then they will leave. And if we sit at a random person's table, then they will give us a weird look. Both of these were proven because each time the experiment was ran, we were either given an odd look from the person or the person moved after a couple minutes. This study connects to topics that have been covered in class, such as ethnomethodology, which is the study of common sense knowledge and range of procedures by which ordinary members of society make sense of, find ways about in, and act on circumstances in which they find themselves. This experiment also connects to the breaching experiences that we learned about that were conducted by Harold Garfl Garfinkeling, where he dealt with mundane rules to study social behaviors. He first identified a rule, then broke the rule, and then observed the reactions he got. This is exactly what we did in this project. We identified a rule of keeping to yourself in a quiet setting, broke it by going up to strangers, and observed that people kind of just brushed it off. This also connects to the study of rules, which are followable prescriptions that indicate what behavior is obligated, preferred, or prohibited in certain contexts. The rule that you shouldn't sit with random people or strangers 
and that you should keep to yourself in a quiet public setting like a library is a prescriptive one as it is meant to maintain order. Though we didn't really talk to the people that we sat with in the library, it's still communication nonetheless. Some of the key characteristics of communications were touched upon through this experiment. One of them being is that communication is transactional, which means that there are no social interactions aside from communication, and every interaction is communication. Another characteristic is that it is meant to create and sustain social order, which we broke by doing this experiment. It is also context shape and context shaping, meaning in this setting, it was inappropriate to go up to a stranger while they were trying to get work done. As far as cultural implications, the effect of this experiment is going to vary between cultures. In other societies, people might take more offense to someone not following the societal norm or being disrupted in a quiet setting. However, in our culture, it isn't that big of a deal. It's just a little weird. In conclusion, my group members and I saw that when we break the social norm of the library by sitting at someone's table while they're concentrating on doing their work, they'll look at us weird but also pack their bags and go to a different table. One difference we can make if the group was to break the social norm again for an experiment is instead of sitting at only one person's table and be looking at them, we would sit at a table where there's a group of people and just have a random conversation between us to see the reaction we would receive.